right um, I've cashed it out so I've got this all grows up you just cash it out as a bob file it's all does caches all the same as everything else um, and so if I go to render this my render view and I hit play uh, nothing happens don't get anything um, so we've got a sort of tail on or do we want to render it um, Right, so let's just uh, move this all over. Um, let me put that small like that now. Um, right, so the first thing we need is um, let's just get it rendering first. So let's do tab Arnold set Arnold strand settings. There we go. So let's plonk that in there. Um, oops. And let me just disconnect that. So that's going to go into the proxy just so we can see it. Um, and that's the final. So that's going to render the final one. Um, let's see if that works yet. So let me change anything here. You get. You can override. I'm ribbon thick and oriented. I have troubles with getting these working actually, if I'm honest. Um, and. These are quite handy. These will smooth them. So if you have linear and they're quite angular, they will be, you know, quite angular still. But you can smooth them out with a B spine or a capital or a bezier. Um, leave minimal pixel width. So let's just see if that now renders. Yeah, but that's only in the alpha. Um, they, they render out white, so that's pretty cool. Um, so that's got them rendering in Arnold. Let's just minimize that one again. Um, so that's basically what you need to do. So if you want to assign a material, um, like that, put that into final. And let's go made one. I think I've made one all earlier. Um, but I'll just make another one. Let's do it from scratch. So, standard surface, um, let's just leave it as a default, put that in, into surface material, to there, and to there. Um, if I make a light, Arnold, let's make a physical sky, I'll just make a plane, just so we don't, it's not floating around. So there we go. So you can get, you know, uh, oh no, they're just loads of them together, aren't they? There. Um, so you could do it like that if you wanted to, or we could let's hide the light H, and we could go back to our material. So uh, we could. Him emit a color. So got that. Um, and the other thing I'll show you is let's hide all these again. Is you can also play around with let's put it in before here. So if you click on these and you go, I want a profile. Is it's set strand size profile, and because I had that connection link set selected, it plonked it in there for me. And what you get here is an F curve, so we've had a quick look at those already. Um, so if I go to the renderer, you can see already it's gone a bit weird. Um, actually, if I turn So we can scale this down actually, that will make it smaller. Um, what this will do is it will taper the base of the strand. So if we zoom in a bit, let's find a bit that's. So if I see that's 0.35, I'll put that 0.1. Oops, do that 0.1. 
point one. And that one at position five. And put that at one. You can see they're getting th they start off thin, they get thicker, then they get thinner again. You can sort of play with that a bit. Like so. Um, so if you pull them out, it's going to get. So you can play around with that, it's quite nice. They could get some nice effects with that one. Or if you just wanted to. You can just. I don't know how to delete these. Oh, it's just deleting. Yeah, cool. Um, and you can change these to linear and linear. So now they'll just be straight lines. And if you want to play around with the size factor, the size of these is based on the size of the particle. I think that's what this trail inherits. Uh, I think you've got this point size here. Um, so let's do, tell you, you can change that properties, because of properties, point size, mean the will have the size and the positions of the particles that are emitted from, yeah. Um, but you can override that with this. There is a set strand, uh, da, 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 set, Strand shape, um, but for some reason, which has a size, but it doesn't seem to be overriding this. So, but you can use that if you're playing around with strands. Um, and finally, let's just put the light back on. So, there you go. Uh, rendering out some strandy bits. Um, 